current Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer is on the hot seat, or at least he should be, but apparently he is the last to know, and the media jackals actually broke the subject with him on Wednesday at his press conference. Here's what they said. Reporter, the game with the Bears and the hot seats with Nagy and yourself, Zimmer interrupting. I'm on the hot seat? I'm Ron Burgundy? Uh, other reporter, rumor has it. By the way, props that reporter for just bumping in with that own. I love it. Uh, reporter, just wondering what your thoughts were. Zimmer, I don't have any thoughts on it. And Zimmer also doesn't have any thoughts on what happens in the game in the final two minutes of every half, but that's whatever there. But there's a couple things at play here for Zim. Number one, he may actually believe that he is not on the hot seat. Like He's trying to win games. He's focused on that. He's focused on, oh, we just got to show up and keep battling and keep fighting. And if they make the playoffs, maybe he does think that he'll be safe. Number two... Outside chance here, uh, maybe the Wilfs behind closed doors gave him some assurances. Maybe they're like, uh, Mike, you know, you're dealing with a lot of things here with injuries and the Rona and all that stuff, and uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Your, your future is secure here no matter win, lose, or draw, whatever happens, blah. But most of that coach is in Zimmer's position. Probably would have been fired after the 2020 debacle, even though they finished 7-9 and nine, uh, the first part of the season. Yikes, yikes. But what saved him was that contract extension. Ownership didn't want to eat all of that money left on that contract, including with his staff, which they would have to wash out with the new head coach as well. But uh, the, the Wilfs also don't seem like the type to air this out in public because obviously the fan base is talking. Obviously, the media is talking. And when that happens, usually ownership, if they got their guys back, well, usually also if they don't either, they'll come out as like, you know, we have all the confidence in the world, the dreaded vote of confidence. And uh, guys like Jerry Jones have done that. Daniel Snyder's done that. Owners, owners uh, around the league have done that when a coach you know is going to be fired. But the Wilfs, uh, even if Zimmer was safe, I don't think that they would put that out in public. I think they would handle that thing in-house. Number three... Maybe Zimmer's lying to himself. Like maybe he's lying to the media. Maybe he's lying to himself. Or, or maybe he's. Uh, this is probably really uh, healthy. Uh, compartmentalize everything and just blocked out all the noise and just focus on what he can control and not worry about anything else that's outside of his control. It's actually a really healthy approach to things. But uh, respect to Zim. He is the third winningest coach in Vikings franchise history after Bug Grant and Denny Green. Also, he makes the playoffs in odd numbered years, which is just such a weird anomaly. Plus, hey, don't you think it would be nice to make the playoffs in multiple years in a row? That would kind of be nice. But standards do need to be raised. Like, it's kind of fun. This playoff race is derby right now. But the Vikings should not be in this spot with three other 7-7 seven and seven teams. The Vikings should have already secured a playoff spot uh, for all intents and purposes. And, hey, guess what? We should not have to win out just to secure a, a place in the dance. No. If those games uh, that were close earlier in the season, Bengals, Cardinals, Cowboys, Ravens, Lions, had just gone the Vikings' way instead of mismanaging the game away and just handing them the win... Ah, 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 and I think barring an NFC title game run, I think Zimmer is going to be in trouble. Uh, I think that change is needed. And if ownership sticks with Zimmer, like say the Vikings bomb out here, they don't make the playoffs. There's still a chance. I, I don't know how you can sell to the fans that, hey, we're going to stay the course. Because you saw, I mean, anyone with two brain cells and two eyeballs can see how much talent this team actually has. And for them to underachieve this badly, even with the circumstances... No, 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 no. I don't think that that is going to fly. I think that will turn off a lot of fans. Uh, I, yeah, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. But, I mean, hell, the Vikings win the Super Bowl. Zim retires. One time. One time, man. But your thoughts on our thoughts. Zimmer, I'm on the hot seat. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.